Bing, there's a red thing. Come on, recording. There you go. Okay, Glenn, here we are, KevinMalloy.com Gallery in Wilmington, Delaware. I'm here with Glenda Santiago. Hi. I'm Glenda. So we're going to go take a look at your show. Yeah, let's go take a look. So this gallery is in Wilmington, Delaware, which is uh, 30 minutes from Philadelphia, and uh, in the Cool Springs section in Wilmington. And here's Glenda. Why don't you uh, introduce your work? Hi. Let's take. Hello, Glenda. I'm Glenda. Hi. How are you? Um, we're here in Delaware, like Kevin said. And what I've done is just tried to bring a few pieces that kind of represent a little of everything that I'm doing. I kind of got music, I've got flowers, I've got abstract, I've got rainforest, and so I just brought a little bit of a selection of everything, and here we have my music wall. Inspiration taken from the Caribbean and Puerto Rico, taken from Austria I, when I was in Vienna and in Prague. I have flowers and dancers. I'm a dancer at heart, so a lot of my strokes and my rhythm within my paintings are representative of that dancer inside of me, and I think that painting coincides with dancing. They both have a lot of rhythm, they both come from the soul, and that's where I strive to go with my work. Let's take a look at this work. You can um, see Glenda at glendasantiago.com. Um, which is kind of fun. Both Glenda and, and I are, are uh, working a lot and trying to develop our websites and even linked on MySpace, which is kind of a fun interactive uh, website for people to uh, check out our work and uh, keep up with what we're doing. These are, uh, let's take a look at these three paintings here, Glenda. Uh -huh. um, why don't you describe them again? Well, these are typical Puerto Rican flowers, the irises, and and the ginger, the heliconia. Um, the iris to me is a very personal flower. I find it to be erotic, very feminine, very sexual. And I identify the iris with women, which I think Georgia O'Keeffe also did, and she painted a lot of them. And it's also one of my favorite floral subjects. Um, I'm also very fascinated with the heliconia. It has beautiful shapes. The way the light hits them, the way they grow, they just very majestic. And this is a new style you're working on here. It is. Thanks for bringing that Why up. Why don't you describe this to the audience? This is encaustic. And encaustic is the process of working with warm wax. And it's very textural. You have to work very quickly. I work with a heat gun. I work with heated palettes of paint and I go back and forth and I move very, very quickly. Um, I'm, you can see other artists that work in caustic. Jasper Johns was notorious. Um, he brought probably caustic to become very popular back in the 60s and the 70s. Although it's a timeless um, medium that was done, that was worked with back in Egypt and back in the earlier times. Um, and it's, it's coming back again. You can also see artists such as Tony Sherman, who does figurative work, and that's kind of where I'm trying to go. And if we go over to the abstracts... Yeah, let's, go, let's take a look at the abstracts. Yeah, because there, there's a correlation between the abstracts. Okay, let's go to take a look at these abstracts. I'm going to do a close-up. Yeah. And um, why don't you describe these three these are, pieces? These abstracts are three of a series, an ongoing series, which I am referring to as my mantras. Um, in yoga and in chanting, repetition is a key. And through repetition of just dealing with color, shapes, and composition, I'm hoping to free myself of hang-ups when it, when it comes to dealing with figurative work. And I'm just hoping to be able to do that. Um, a lot of my work sometimes tends to be very precise and very fine. And doing this is opening me up. I go to a place that I don't consciously think about. It becomes instinctive. My muse takes over. And I just work. I react. I work. And I react. And that's 
where I want to go with the encaustic. So this, it, they're, they're kind of in correlation. And doing this allows me to get to that, which I think eventually will come back into my dancer work. A free, uh, freedom of the soul, freedom of the spirit. Sounds good. Over here we have, um, you're uh, one of the founders and the president currently of the East End Art Guild, which is, um, I'm a member of, which is a lot of fun down in Puerto Rico, in the Absolutely. northeast section, Absolutely. which includes um, Old San Juan, San Juan, all the way down yes. to anyone that's familiar with Puerto Rico, to whom a cow. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Everywhere. We have, we have members from all over the island. Um, and our whole purpose with the East End Art Guild is to bring awareness of the arts to the east side of the island. There's a big presence in the San Juan area and the metropolitan area with art and it kind of tends to congregate. So we've kind of tried to move it out to the eastern part and we've done so successfully but we've also incorporated a huge following from people all over the island and the United States, Canada, and we have members from Europe. And what we try to do, it's a networking. Um, we try to introduce artists to, we have shows, and we have ranges from beginner artists, um, advanced artists, and master artists. I mean, it's, there's a whole variety, and we all learn from each other, which is what's fabulous about it. That is great. Um, what's also important, I would say, being an artist, uh, is to be able to have different products for all kinds of buyers. So. Well, you go from your original works to your G clays and your prints, and then you also have a card collection, which is um, which is an interesting way, or it's a great way for people to be able to get some of your artwork that may not be able to afford to buy originals or G clays. Exactly. And, and I think I think a lot of what makes original artwork valuable is how well known it becomes and the collectability of it. And I think the more people that want it, it makes it available to them on a smaller scale and then therefore enhances the original pieces. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. Thanks, because a lot of people don't. There's a big argument about that controversy about the clays and cards and having it overexposed and, but it, it's. I think it's a really great way to, uh, to, open up the horizon, I mean, for more, masses, yeah, absolutely, I think it's a great idea. On every level. Okay. Hi. Hello, Melly. Hello. All right, hold on, how do I...